Madam Speaker, I know someone wants to hear this. Even more people. To strengthen the fight against corruption, we are reorganizing the leadership and management of investigative wings and also increasing resources to support the operations of these institutions. Just wait and see in the months ahead. In our fight against corruption, there shall be no sacred cows. There shall be no sacred cows. Corruption of the past, corruptions of the present, corruptions of the future. I listened to what people say, Madam Speaker, and I was hearing noises, no, this government does not look at corruption of the present. The test of the pudding is in the eating. You have seen in the last 10 days what this government has done. The president's own appointees is that last night they've been removed. Here is a message for you. Here is a message for you and the nation. Do not call the fight against corruption selective. Do not call it ethnic best. If you took public money, you did not take it for your ethnic group. You took it for yourself. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, I am engaging our traditional leaders as late as yesterday, and we agreed no subject of a particular chief will run to the chief when they are called to account over corruption. Because this has been the habit of the past. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, the traditional leaders have agreed that they will inform some of us when some of you go to them to, to seek cover. You will not get a cover. You will be on your own. Past corruption, you are on your own. Present corruption, you are on your own. Future corruption, you are on your own. Madam Speaker, the money lost to corruption is far too much. You are given a contract, you claim to be a businessman or woman, you supply air, then you invoice. Then you say, no, suppliers are not being paid. I corner man. I corner. It will not happen. It will not happen. You can complain as much as you want. The audits are on and they're establishing strange things. And the changes we've made at the DPP level, ACC level, the Economics and Financial Crimes Court, dedicated courtrooms, cases must end in 90 days. We shall see. In 90 days. Not two years, not three years. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, the children of Zambia need money to buy desks and to give them feeding programs, not to take money that doesn't belong to you. Those are the values we're talking about earlier. Respect what is not yours. Take what's yours, leave what's not yours for the nation. Madam Speaker, this is not a joke. I want to say that this is not a joke. I want this house, I call this respectable house, honorable house, to work together on this issue 
cancerous issue of corruption. Now you have seen that there's no one who is exempt. So you support this fight. Madam Speaker, we urge every Zambian, including this House, I dare say, Madam Speaker, the whole government, the executive, the judiciary, watch that space, the judiciary, I repeat, the judiciary, the legislature, the media, we must all work together to stamp out corruption. It's taken far too much money from this country. Madam Speaker, this is a country which is so rich. I go to meet with presidents of other countries. Their economies are growing. Our economy went down to minus 2.8, largely because of corruption. Yes. Now we are rebuilding the economy. Numbers don't lie. I must say, Madam Speaker, I get embarrassed when countries that were smaller than us in the economy are now bigger than us. I have a sense of shame, and I ask everybody to have a sense of shame and accept that we made mistakes. And when others are correcting the mistakes you made, sit quietly. The best you can do is to acknowledge the wrongdoing, to repent, to also now offer advice which is progressive. I am serious, Madam President. Madam Speaker, this is not a joke. I want this house to know this is not a joke. We must be embarrassed. The reforms that this government is putting in place is to push growth of the economy. A bit of pain, yes. I understand. Penicillin is painful, but you have to take it in order to get a cure. But the sight is clear. Where we are going, it's clear. What we need is to work as a team, as a decent group of leaders. Ask yourselves, 30 years from now, what will our children say about us? What will they say about us? We should be the ones that the children will say, they were great men and women who turned around the country and took it where it should go. You know, Madam Speaker, we need a different session for this subject, not this one. Let's find some time and talk as adults, not as children. <laughs> 